standing here today as uh, one of Simon's best men. I should say it's not an under pleasure, but the pleasure of him to finish the speech. As Simon said, I've only known him for uh, three years, three months, 21 days, and <laughs> six hours. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't sound very long, it certainly feels a lot longer. It's been, uh, it's been great all along. Uh, he actually interviewed me for my first job. It went terribly, but I somehow offered it. Uh, during the interview, he was dressed as Pat Cash. I got the job offer, <laughs> and for some reason, I uh, decided to accept it. Went in on the Monday morning and didn't recognise the uh, young man in the uh, smart air cover suit. <laughs> Uh, started work and everyone said, uh, stick with Simon, he's a model employee, he'll, uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll sort you out, don't worry. Uh, I decided to look at model up in a dictionary, and it says, small, non-working replica. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> but, uh, Simon always brought a bit of uh, fun to the office, dressed down Fridays were always interesting. <laughs> And uh, no one at Bridge Annual will ever forget the day he came in dressed as a chap with Rupert the Bear. But over the last years, I've uh, found Simon to be very popular. He's got a wide circle of friends. He's very talented, dedicated to improving himself. He plays uh, with his pets. He does a lot of cooking, dancing, makes clothes. He's a keen fisherman. <laughs> and he likes exploring the world he lives in. This is, of course, the world of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you not in the know, it's an online game a bit like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but more importantly, it's the only computer game that uh, I don't beat him at. <laughs> uh, if the theme of my speech had been, why marry Elaine, it would have been straightforward. She's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's funny, she can cook like Nigella Lawson, and she's got the patience of a saint. Simon can say, hand on my heart, you're the luckiest man alive. I a good speech to them. <laughs> <laughs> As preparation for this speech, I asked Simon what he was looking for in a marriage. He thought a bit, and said, love, happiness, and future with the woman I love. I asked Elaine the same question, she turned around and said, uh, that coffee machine from uh, John Lewis. What the hell is that in the book? <laughs> Uh, one of the most enjoyable duties as best man was uh, organising the stag weekend with Jamie. Uh, we managed it somehow without ever meeting. Yeah. We've got a million emails involved, but it went well. There was no disasters until the trip home. <laughs> yeah. Six hours. That was loud towards them. I guess it's fun. That's my fun. Yeah, I'll have Simon get your few drinks down and then it'll be worse for wear next day. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't mention the clothes. <laughs> we don't mention the stag weekend clothes. Uh, I discovered it's customary for the best man's speech to uh, contain a bit of a history lesson and maybe refer to a major event that took place on that day in history. Uh, it's not a major event or particularly memorable, but I did find it amusing that on this day, back in 1976, 150 to 1 outside of one at Cheltenham, and here we are 31 years later, and another no hope has said on the stop. I've been planning this speech for about six months, and it feels like I've been studying talking for about that long. So uh, I'd like to give the new West the traditional best man and wish for good luck, good health, and happiness. I'm sure you'll all agree, Elaine and Simon are a marvellous, well suited couple, and they thoroughly deserve all the happiness they're going to share. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. Good job, please stand and raise your glasses. And Simon and Elaine. Simon.